earlier we talked about Phil Jackson's comments on Arizona's immigration law, but has he hurt his team by opening his mouth? Joining us is the editor of Turner's Two Cents, Cameron Turner. Hey, Cameron, how are you? Fred, I'm good. Good to be back with you as always. The pleasure is ours. You think the coach has created a problem for the Lakers by speaking out? Well, Coach should have been quiet. I mean, he's, he's speaking out of both sides of his mouth on this thing. On one hand, he says, well, I don't think that basketball teams ought to get involved in all this political stuff. Then he makes this involved political statement. If you want to keep the team out of it, stay quiet. The man is the head coach. Unfortunately, he now appears to be speaking for the team, which he's not. He's speaking for himself. He should have left it alone. That wasn't an issue for him to comment on since he doesn't want to involve the team in politics. Well, but do, um, you, but do you think anybody took that as he was speaking for the team and not himself? I, I don't think any reasonable person does. I, I think that people understand that he's the coach. He's expressing his opinion. Uh, this is not an official statement coming out of the Lakers organization. But because he's the head coach, it kind of carries weight. And so now we've got the people out there who are protesting. And I think that's perfectly valid for them to take that uh, position to speak out. Uh, the coach was pretty strong in his opinion. He's got to expect there's going to be some backlash. He should have just kept his comments to himself. Uh, and, and kept his opinion to himself since he says he doesn't think that basketball teams ought to be dragged into the political stuff. All right, we got about a minute here. Let's get to this. Attorney General Eric Holder, Director of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano, both criticized Arizona's law. Both admit they haven't read it. How can people criticize the law if they don't know what's in the law? Well, I think that the critics are, I think this is a red herring, really. Uh, there's nothing unusual about public officials elected or appointed in Washington making comments on things based on briefings from their staff, legislative summaries. Everyone does that. People on the Hill do it. The president does it. There's nothing unusual. The, the critics are missing the point. The point is, and it was made quite clearly by Janet Napolitano, law enforcement officials, professionals in law enforcement in Arizona, have spoken out against this, no less than Jack Harris, who was the uh, manager of public safety, we call him the police chief in Phoenix, held a news conference to say why this was a bad law. It puts uh, local law enforcement in the position of enforcing federal law of which they have no jurisdiction. And more importantly, more importantly, uh, Harris said that this law in Arizona is going to quite possibly drive up crime because it will further uh, alienate certain members of the population, keep them from coming out and speaking uh, and cooperating with law enforcement. And, and Fred, it's significant that two uh, police officers in Arizona, a gentleman in Phoenix and another in uh, Cameron, Tucson, Cameron, have Cameron. filed lawsuits saying Cameron, that. Cameron, I'll give you five more seconds. Wrap up your thing because we're out of time. Go ahead. Take five seconds and put a nice bow on it. Conservative critics need to listen to law enforcement. They have denounced this law. It needs to be, re be reviewed and repealed. All right, Cameron, great job as always. I'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Thank you, Fred.